A box is pushed from rest with a constant applied force of 30 newton over a horizontal surface which has three different regions. Each region is 5 meters long and exerts a different frictional force on the box as it moves through. And then uh, we have a diagram there that clearly demonstrates uh, what the statement is saying. It goes on to say that the graph below shows the kinetic energy of the object as a function of the distance. From the starting point, as the object experiences the constant applied force of 30 Newton, uh, the first region uh, is from 0 to 5 meters, uh, the second region is from 5 to 10, and the third is from 10 to 15. 5.1 says, state the work energy theorem in words. Uh, the work energy theorem essentially says that work net is equal to changing EK. So what this is telling us is that uh, the work net done on an object is equal to the object's change in kinetic energy. The work done on an object is equal to the object's change in kinetic energy. And then now we can move to 5.2. Uh, 5.2 says use the work energy theorem to show that the gradient uh, or slope of the graph represents the net force experienced by the object. Uh, I don't really like these questions that I have to deal with graphs. Uh, but if you're doing physics, they're gonna come and you will need to know them. On the y-axis, we have EK, right? And then on the x-axis, we have the distance. So in uh, work energy and power, uh, we have delta EK and we have uh, delta x. So we need to find a relationship where on the y we have delta ek and then on, a, on the x we have delta x. From the work energy theorem, right, 5.1 is hinting us on what we need to use. From the work energy theorem, we know that work net is equal to ek. But we also know that um, the work net is equal to f net multiplied by uh, delta x multiplied by cos of theta, right? So ek is equal to f net multiplied by delta x multiplied by cos of theta. In our situation here, cos of theta, uh, theta will be zero, right? Uh, because uh, you can see uh, the force that is being applied that is horizontal. So we're gonna have delta ek uh, being equal to f net multiplied by delta x. Uh, cos of theta, if theta is zero, that will be one, right? Because cos cos of zero is one. So we just have delta ek being equal to f net multiplied by delta x. So now we have uh, ek on our y, and then we have f net as our m, right? Our gradient, and then we have the distance as our x. So here clearly, uh, the gradient or the slope will be giving us f net. So here you come and say uh, f net. Uh, will be our gradient, which we're going to find by saying uh, the change in EK divided by uh, the change in distance or the change in X. Yeah, this is honestly a very strange question. I've never came across anything uh, like this before I came across this question. Uh, anyway, let's move to 5.3. 5.3 says, calculate the net force experienced by the object in the third region between 10 meters and 10 meters. So F net, uh, we know that we're supposed to find delta EK and delta X, right? So we have F net uh, being equals to uh, EK final minus EK initial uh, divided by, uh, so that's divided by uh, X final minus x initial so that will be equals to so we want uh the net force experience uh, between uh the region uh 10 to 15 right so for x final we're gonna have 15 uh, minus 10 because that's our initial right now let's find the corresponding uh ek values at 10 so if this is two if this is four here uh, then this is 2 and then this is 6 and this is 8 so 10 is here so let's go up and see where 10 is uh, so 10 is somewhere here and then now let's look at the uh, y-axis and see how uh, the boxes and the numbers are pairing up so if we have 40 and here we have 80 so here we have 60 here we have 20 here we have 100 right so between uh, we are between uh, 80 and 
100 so uh, for ek uh, 1 or ek initial uh, we have 90 right uh, now let's come to ek final so this is 10 12 14 uh, so 15 uh, is somewhere here so let's go up and then let's see where we end up we end up at around uh, so this is 160 so this is uh, 180 here so we have 180 so 180 minus 90 uh, that is 90 right and then uh, 15 minus 10 uh, that is equals to 5 so 90 divided by 5 is equals to 18 right so f net uh, between 10 and 15 is 18 newtons uh, now let's move forward and do 5.4 5.4 says hence determine the magnitude of the force of friction experienced by the block as it moves over the third region so force of friction so we know that f net is equals to f1 plus f2 uh, to some fn depending on the number of forces you have right uh, so on that region uh, 10 to 15 uh, we know that the f net is 18 newton right so we have force applied minus friction we say minus friction because it's opposes the motion right so we're going to have 18 uh, being equals to what's f applied we are told that f applied is 30 newton so we have 18 uh, equals to 30 minus fr so if we take 30 to the other side we get minus 12 is equals to minus friction so this will give us a frictional value of um 12 newton um then that's 5.4 let's move to 5.5 5.5 is in which region first second or third offers the largest frictional force so again we know that f net is equals to f applied minus fr right uh one thing the steeper the slope the greater the value of f net right and then f applied is kept constant so basically friction is the one that is uh, determining the steepness of the slope so where the slope the slope is the steepest then we have less friction right uh, so let's look at our our graph here from zero to five uh, it's pretty much steep uh, but then from 5 to 10, uh, it's a bit gentle, right? And then uh, 10 to 15 is also very steep. So 5 to 10 is a uh, gentle compared to the other parts, right? So there we have the largest friction. So here we're going to say uh, the second uh, the second region has the largest friction. I uh, hope you can understand that. And then 5.6 says explain your answer in question 5.5 without any calculation uh that's basically what we just did right uh but then another way of doing we can actually do the calculations and you're supposed to get a frictional force uh, that is uh, less than that of the region 0 to 5 and the region 10 to 15.